Hello, I'm Zenia Patterson, here in the Belfast City Council buildings, reporting for WIMPs, interviewing Niall Kelly. Councillor, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Niall Kelly, I'm the SDLP councillor for the Balmoral Ward, and I replaced Carmel Hanna on the council on the 1st of July of this year. Our first question today is, you are one of the youngest members of Belfast Council to date. How does it affect you? Um, well, so far everybody's been very nice to me. I've had great support from my own political party. I've been, they've helped me get up to speed with the issues that have been before the council, and members from other parties have been very supportive of me so far, so I couldn't be happier with it. How did you first get involved in politics? I've been interested in politics for a long time. I studied it at school and then on the university. I have a an MA in Irish politics from Queen's and then I got myself involved with the SDLP about three or four years ago and have worked for them in different capacities. I worked for Alban McGuinness, the MLA in his office and when I knew that Carmel's seat was becoming available on the council I put my name forward for it and I was very happy to get it. What are your views on the young people today in Northern Ireland? Um, well, young people get a bad press most of the time, it's usually in the forms of antisocial behaviour and things like that. But from my dealings with them, it's completely different. I've had groups come to me already lobbying about trying to get the Belfast Urban Sports Arena built um, for skaters and bike riders in the city centre. And it's, I think a lot of young people, they don't have the facilities. Um, the council doesn't provide the right facilities for them. So a lot of people stand about in street corners on nights and they mightn't be doing anything, but people are intimidated by it or they think they're going to cause trouble. And that seems to be where a lot of the problems come from. Are there any big issues that would affect the local community that you think local government should address? Um, the main problem which I've been dealing with in the past six weeks it is antisocial behaviour. It's the need for proper facilities for people um, in the evenings and weekends. You have parks that are locked off by gates and people then end up getting into them through their own ways and then trouble is caused and then when the police come out it's, everything just escalates and the council has to take a more active role. They have to provide youth facilities, youth clubs in the evenings, summer schemes, anything to get people to have some sense of ownership of their community so that they feel they're part of it and not being treated as second class citizens. Actner, go to our constituency office, go to our constituency office, sign the petitions, keep the pressure on her. If she thinks she can get away with it, she'll say it again. Ian Paisley Jr. in an interview with Hot Press last year said comments pretty much the same. It was glossed over after a couple of weeks and it's moved on. Irish Robinson should not be allowed to get away with this and the pressure has to be kept on her. Young people, old people, it's not a matter of age. They just have to keep the pressure on her and say no, we will not tolerate this. Enough is enough. Now a slightly more informal question. Your colleague Colin McGrath has made a video diary. What are your views on the cheesy music he chose to use? Um, well, I have on a blog, I've got my own blog on this and I've posted on this and I've commented on the video. I think it's a great idea for Colin to do the video and try and get some sort of form of communication with his constituents, but the music is awful. <laughs> it is woeful. And it says more about Colin than anything else. <laughs> do you intend to make one yourself? Um, it was something I had thought of a couple of months ago when I was setting up the blog, but haven't actually got around to doing it. There's a video camera sitting in the house, but still in the box. <laughs> Do you think more young people should get involved in politics either through Wings, Belfast Youth Council or even Youth Wings or parties? There's so much opportunity now for young people to get involved in politics. It's not just the traditional party system that you can get involved with. Anti-war groups, um, single issue groups, um, protecting the environment, things like that. They're a great way for people to get involved with politics even if they don't want to join a political party. Most political parties are seen as middle-aged and have no real appeal for young people. But there are so many young politicians now starting to come forward. There's Charlene O'Hara from Sinn Féin in Lisburn, um, Matthew McDermott from the SDLP, who for a while was the youngest councillor in Ireland. Um, the UP tried to get a 20-year-old co-opted onto Fermanagh District Council. And with the review of public administration, which will come into effect in 2009-2010, there are going to be many, many long-serving councillors who are going to be offered severance packages and are going to be able to retire from the councils. This will be an opportunity for young people who are interested in politics to get involved in active politics and see what it's really about. Thank you very much for meeting with us, councillor. Thank you.
How do you think the young people of Northern Ireland could make a difference to Iris's views? Iris Robinson's views, mm-hmm. by contacting her, phone her constituency office, go to her constituency office, sign the petitions, keep the pressure on her. If she thinks she can get away with it, she'll say it again. Ian Paisley Jr. in an interview with Hot Press last year said comments pretty much the same. It was glossed over after a couple of weeks and it's moved on. Irish Robinson should not be allowed to get away with this and the pressure has to be kept on her. Young people, old people, it's not a matter of age. They just have to keep the pressure on her and say no, we will not tolerate this. Enough is enough. Now a slightly more informal question. Your colleague Colin McGrath has made a video diary. What are your views on the cheesy music he chose to use? Um, well, I have on a blog, I've got my own blog on this and I've posted on this and I've commented on the video. I think it's a great idea for Colin to do the video and try and get some sort of form of communication with his constituents, but the music is awful. <laughs> it is woeful. And it says more about Colin than anything else. <laughs> do you intend to make one yourself? Um, it was something I had thought of a couple of months ago when I was setting up the blog, but haven't actually got round to doing it. There's a video camera sitting in the house, but still in the box. <laughs> Do you think more young people should get involved in politics either through Wings, Belfast Youth Council or even Youth Wings or parties? There's so much opportunity now for young people to get involved in politics. It's not just the traditional party system that you can get involved with. Anti-war groups, um, single issue groups, um, protecting the environment, things like that. They're a great way for people to get involved with politics even if they don't want to join a political party. Most political parties are seen as middle-aged and have no real appeal for young people. But there are so many young politicians now starting to come forward. There's Charlene O'Hara from Sinn Féin in Lisburn, um, Matthew McDermott from the SCLP, who for a while was the youngest councillor in Ireland. Um, the DUP tried to get a 20-year-old co-opted onto Fermanagh District Council. And with the review of public administration, which will come into effect in 2009-2010, there are going to be many, many long-serving councillors who are going to be offered severance packages and are going to be able to retire from the councils. This will be an opportunity for young people who are interested in politics to get involved in active politics and see what it's really about. Thank you very much for meeting with us, councillor. Thank you.